Hey boys and girls. So today we're going to be looking at module four, lesson four, and it starts out with practicing a new strategy. So the first problem is 17 minus nine. And if you go to subtract like units, you would have seven ones and you'd need to take away nine ones, which we can't do because there's not enough ones and seven ones to take away nine. So instead of decomposing the 110 into 10 ones, we're gonna practice a different strategy. So it starts out with a tape diagram and they've actually filled in this one for you. So on the top has your 17 from right here. And on the bottom tape, it's nine from right there. And this new strategy is that you're gonna make a new math problem that's easier to work with in order to solve 17 minus nine. So what they've done is they added one to each of those numbers. So 17 plus one is 18 and nine plus one is 10. So instead of solving 17 minus nine, you're actually gonna solve 18 minus 10 and it'll still give you the same answer. So. I have 18 and I take away the 10, it will leave me with eight. So 17 minus nine will still give you eight. So we could fill in the eight right here. All right, let's look at a different one so we can do it together. 33 minus 19. Well, if I go to subtract like units, I would have three ones and I'd need to take away nine ones. Well, I can't do that without decomposing a 10, so we're gonna try this new strategy. So originally, it would be 33, and I would subtract 19. But for this strategy, I wanna make it a different equation. Well, I know if I add one to 19, that would make it a 20 which would be easy to subtract. So if I add one to the bottom, I also need to add one to the top. So my new equation is now 34, because 33 plus one is 34, minus 20, because 19 plus one is 20. And this one's much easier to solve because I can subtract like units. Four ones minus zero ones is four ones, and three tens minus two tens is one ten. So I know that my answer is 14. And you would do the same type of strategy for C and D, where you would make a new problem so that you can solve it. They don't give you the boxes, so you will need to draw your own boxes for these. Um, so that you can solve it. So you just have to draw your own boxes. All right, moving on. Here is another strategy. This one is using a number bond to add. So they started this first one for you and it has 28 plus 43. So instead of using the 28, they made 28 into a multiple of 10 and added from there. So they were thinking, okay, well 28 is really close to 30. How can I turn 28 into a 30? All right, well I can take two ones out of the 43, which leaves me with 41 left in 43. And they started by doing 28 plus two. 28 plus two equals 30, so they've done this part, and they still had 41 left, so 30 plus 41, which is what they put right here, and now you can add like units. Well, zero ones plus one one is one one, and four tens plus three tens is seven tens to get the answer of 71. And you could draw these on the side if you want to, or you could just do the 28 plus two in your head 
is 30 and add the 41 on this line. So um, we can do this one together as well in that same strategy. All right, so if I'm adding 67 and a 28, I'm gonna look at this 28 because it's closer to the multiple of 10. I know that 28 is fairly close to 30. So I would need two more to turn 28 into a 30. And I'll get those two more from the 67. So I'm gonna decompose 67. I'll take two out and that will leave me with 65 left in the 67. And I know that 28 plus two gives me 30. And I need to add the 65 back in. Now I can add like units. Five ones plus zero ones is five ones. And six tens plus three tens is nine tens to get the answer of 95. And the bottom one is a word problem. And it says that you can use a tape diagram like we did on the first page, or you can do a number bond like we've done on this page to solve it. All right guys, hope that was helpful. See you tomorrow in class.